state-of-the-art facilities gyms spas pools everything you name it chicken turkeys rat you name the two-story common room which hosted quite a few parties in first year i must say which got locked up but yes of any accommodation of your choice as long as you use the link in the description down below now let me know who else is bringing you the affordable accommodations and giving you 10 pounds off any one of them on top i'll wait that's what i thought hey guys it's your girl melanicious your favorite melanated content creator and in today's video we're going to be talking about the most affordable accommodations in coventry and i'm going to be going through individually each and every accommodation and bringing you those bargains baby baby okay now the first one is gosford gate 119 pounds per week gosford gate is on far gosford street which means it's at the heart of Coventry it is where loads of different shops are you've got kebab brush there you've got um, Chinese kitchen there you've got AG&G just up the road which is an African restaurant um, their food is really good by the way um, you've also got a Sainsbury's just opposite you've got Subway just opposite like it's literally got so many you, you don't really need to leave that area to be honest because it's got literally everything that you need you have like I would say medium-sized rooms but the inside is very nice and modern it's not really like olden looking and like all wooden if you don't really care about that stuff then it is what it is but the rooms are very nice this one is quite social it's also opposite calcott 10 so if you have any friends that are coming to commentary and they're going to be staying in um, another accommodation which is calcott 10 then you guys will literally be opposite each other and whatever it's a 10 minute walk from the main city center so that's where you have like more primark and you know the bigger stores like new look have en suites and studios so if you want to share with flatmates which is what most first years do i don't know many first year students that chose to get a studio or if you want to get a studio then they have that option there too so studio is basically when you have your own bathroom and you have your own kitchen en suite is where you just have your own bathroom but you share the kitchen Obviously, they also have 24 7 security so that you know that your building is always being protected at all times okay next we have raglan house and raglan house starts from 110 pounds per week which is actually so good for what you get i stayed at raglan house in first year um i must say the rooms are actually really spacious like there's a lot of floor space there's space between the bed and the table and then the bathroom like there's a lot of space there <laughs> and it comes with a double bed as well i know sometimes there's rooms where it comes with a double bed and that usually like takes up a lot of space but even with the double bed you can still do as many star jumps as you like across the room which i don't think many people really do but you get the perspective i'm trying to paint here raglan house isn't a very social accommodation i would say it's not as bait as the other accommodations so if you're a bit more quiet or you like you don't want somewhere where there's like loads of people always active everywhere and raglan house would be the one for you the university is literally like a nine to ten minutes walk and it's also near other accommodations such as apollo house godiva and sky blue point the next we have ringway house ringway house ranges from 99 pounds to 220 pounds per week it has not been built yet but i can tell it's going to be really good and this is because it's going to have a fully equipped gym and games room and the rooms look like they're going to be so nice whenever there's a new build it's always going to be 10 out of 10 like 2021 modern standard stylish chic yes it's literally a 10 minute walk from the university and it's only a two minutes walk from shops restaurants bars all of that stuff all in the city center okay so next we have calcott 10 which ranges from 99 pounds to 226 pounds 99 pounds will get you a really nice ensuite room the bathrooms are so nice by the way looking at the picture i'm like oh, is this an accommodation or is this the hotel the kitchen is really spacious too on gosford gate opposite you have subway the sains breezes kebab brush there's so many shops 10 minutes away from the main bigger city center with like primark and it has a two-story common room which hosted quite a few parties in first year i must say <laughs> which got locked up but yeah it has a pool table and um really nice couches <laughs> wi-fi is really fast as well like before you've even even finished typing in what you need to type in from google 
is already searched it for you already presented 10 million answers just like that just like that a large and it comes with a double bed like the rooms are so nice like if you're looking for somewhere that's affordable but still nice and cozy and once you decorate it and add your own like pillows and stuff then it will literally look so out of this world only a 15 minutes walk from mcdonald's which is <laughs> essentials of course it's 11 minutes walk from the coach station so if you're traveling to come to their coach then you know that you don't have to pay extra for transport to get to your accommodation in terms of train station it's not as close to the train station it's um um, 20 minute walk from the train station or just like five minutes by uber how 10 is more bait and more social it's not one of the anti-social accommodations um so yeah there's always going to be people around and about <laughs> next we have paradise student village which starts from 95 pounds paradise is very social and it's all en suite i have a really nice sleek interior which i love and i've i've actually been to this accommodation and the kitchens are massive like very very big like it's only a seven minute walk from campus so you don't have to worry about paying extra for public transport or ubers or whatever it's only five minutes from the city center perfect eight minutes walk from the train station this one's ticking all the boxes <laughs> it's six minutes from the Coventry sports center so if you're someone that is really into sports and stuff then you know that that's very close to home too. And next we have Broad Lane House, starting at 88 pounds per week to 145 pounds per week. Broad Lane House is a really cute place to live. Better for people that don't wanna be around like loads of social people. It's much more quieter. Also because it's a bit more further out too. Cannot walk to your lectures with this accommodation, okay? Unless you're ready to walk 47 minutes then do you baby but it's 25 minutes by bus or it's an eight minutes drive if you drive or if you want to take um a cab be like five pounds to get to lectures for uber and at least that way it's a bit more reliable than public transport but it's up to you in it a very pretty very pretty exterior almost like a really posh house you know i love the most about this one is that it has a huge window a huge window so the lighting is amazing i don't know about you but i feel like i do work best when there's really good nice natural sunlight or just like daylight in general now having a huge window would be perfect also to take nice pictures too but you know i love a large window i do i love a large window they have a free two-week stay if you're an international student traveling from abroad and you need to self-isolate they will offer you two weeks for free. Oh, nearby restaurants to this place, McDonald's, Wingwa Buffet, which I'm still yet to go to. When I go there, I'm gonna feed back to you guys. And they also have a restaurant called The Farmhouse, which is nearby too. So even though it's a bit further away from campus, it has its own little community of different stuff that's nearby. So there's a nearby village hotel, which has state-of-the-art facilities, gyms, spas, pools, everything, you name it. Next, we have Apollo House from 85 pounds per week and this one has shared bathrooms so it's not the same as like the en suites and the studios this one you're just sharing with everyone apollo house is close to queen's park house and it's really like homely really cozy like it just reminds me of like your typical at home house compared to like an accommodation medium spacious rooms and it's a 20 minutes walk to the university 15 minutes by bus but 10 of those 15 minutes is spent walking not gonna lie so take a cab <laughs> use my discount code <laughs> i'm not joking use it 25 minute walk to the library but 12 minutes by bus which will take you straight direct to there Polo house is quite quiet you know it's not as big it's a bit more reserved and lastly we have queen's park house which starts at 81 pounds per week which is like crazy i did a um room tour of this accommodation and if you want me to do a bit more of like an accommodation tour for this accommodation then i can do that for you too but yeah it's also 81 pounds per week which is really good for what you get um <laughs> it's not as like busy and active and social as the other accommodations but it's literally 20 minutes walk to the university they have 24 7 reception the reception are on job as in you can collect your parcel at 2 a.m 2 a.m at night their rooms are very spacious it comes with a four foot double bed they have really nice modern bathrooms and the kitchen is like so nice and it has this marble sparkly sort of finish on the um on the tabletops which i think is just so cute and they also have studios available if you want to have your own kitchen and your own bathroom for 81 pounds that is really really good considering that you'll get another 10 pounds off of that because you're gonna book using melanicious girl if you guys don't go get your coins, if you guys don't get your coins, 
things <laughs> honestly guys these accommodations are so affordable especially if you're looking for something that will be in line with how much student finance you're getting i know that's something that i struggled with it was like oh my student finance i'm only, I'm only getting six thousand six hundred and then my accommodation is six thousand five hundred which leaves me with 100 pounds for three months make it make sense hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below which one is your favorite accommodation and which one you're looking at right now i want to know if you guys have any more questions feel free to message me on instagram it's melanish message me if you have any questions and comment down below which accommodation you're looking to go into you might even find other people that are going into the same accommodation i know that's happened on some of my other videos where people have actually started talking to people like oh i don't know what's coming here and they're like hey i am so guys start a conversation down below and i'll be there to respond to all of you okay <laughs> so thank you so much for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to turn post notifications on so you know when i'm posting and what i'm posting and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video bye